Hey, YouTubers, Palm Springs Cindy. Well, it's been over a week since I have uploaded a video and I must apologize. That's not like me and I miss you guys. But first I wanna start by saying thank you to every one of you guys who have been on this journey with me regarding my mother, her illness and her eventual death. So um, that is why I have been uh, absent from YouTube because the story is that, that we are getting her house ready to get to be sold. And so to do that means we have to get it uncluttered, really cleaned up and things out of the closets, staged and, and all of that. So that's what we've been doing, not just me, but all of my siblings. But the, the, for myself, when I go to my mother's, it's like a, it's about a two hour drive for me. And then when I'm there and working, I'm pooped and then it starts getting dark and I don't like driving in the dark. I just don't see well in the dark. I know I have cataracts. I know I'm gonna need cataract surgery very soon, but I just can't do it right now. So I end up spending the night. Now there's good and bad news. When I spend the night, you know, everybody leaves to go home and it's just myself and, um, uh, and uh, my dog who I've renamed. <laughs> so, put that over there, we'll talk about that in a minute. And so the good news is that it's helped me to feel very close to my mother. And it's helped me to you know, just sort of, I feel like I'm near her when I'm in her house because all of her furniture and everything is still there. And so even making a cup of coffee in the morning, you know, using her coffee maker and her coffee cups, pouring a glass of wine in the evening, there's, there's nothing in the refrigerator. I'll tell you what's in the fridge. A wine, red and white, um, and there are ice cream sandwiches, no, ice cream uh, cones, oh shoot, drumsticks in the freezer. And then there are soda waters and like, um, you know, flavored sodas. Flavored, like, oh shoot, what's the name of that? I will anyway, um, flavored soda water. <laughs> and, uh, and then her pantry still has, you know, cans of soup and her spices and all that in it. She's, the kitchen actually still has stuff in it her dishes, her glasses, things like that. But uh, everything else is taken out of the house. All of her clothes, everything but the furniture that we want to keep there to make it look nice and be staged nicely. Plus, she has a beautiful patio that has been very unattended. So it has taken all of us to, to dig in and get that patio cleaned up. I'm gonna show you pictures of the patio because I'm so proud of all of us for um, the hard work we put in and you'll know when you see it. Um, so Please 
make some room and get out of my face I can grow, I can bloom, so get out her house for staging you know uh i think my sister and daughter and i went to home goods to buy something something colorful to put on the patio table in the backyard we ended up taking it back it was like so silly and we ended up you know at buying a little fake fern or whatever but we put it together nicely and made a little uh center uh centerpiece on the table at any rate um so i will show you those pictures and then so actually everything is done for now until the house is sold once it's sold then we'll all go in and pick out what furniture we want or whatever and then um, once we do that we'll have to hire someone to come take the rest of the stuff to goodwill or whatever so but here's the deal like i said i spend the night there which is nice for me because it does make me feel closer to my mother and it's helping me in the grieving process but it also means that it's very emotional for me and also tiring because I don't really sleep well. You know, it's not my bed kind of a thing, but it's worth it just to be, you know, with her blanket and her pillow and her, um, you know, her, her stuff like that just makes me feel, uh, like I said, close to her. So, okay, that's sort of the, what's happening with my mother and, and that thing. Uh, her estate, I'll say. Then, um, I just got, <laughs> um, oh, we are, back to my mom. We're each, each one of us are sort of in charge of something. One of us is in charge of flowers, another is in charge of ordering the food, another one is this and that. I'm in charge of putting together a slideshow slash video of my mom and making the the funeral um, handouts kind of a thing. And so I've been working on that. I don't know how to do that, but I've been working on it and I have a little prototype. I'm gonna change it up a bit. But I did ask, I did show what I made to my siblings and they, they said that was fine. So, so anyway, I have been working on that. I had to get a printer, my printer was broken. And that took me about two or three hours to figure out how to, um, you know, initialize it to get in so that my, my iMac recognized my new HP computer. That was kind of hard for me. <laughs> and, uh, and then um, while I was cleaning out my mother's den, I found all these, um, well, I found the VHSs of home videos and then they had been made into DVDs. So I, I have the DVDs. I've been looking at those and sort of figuring out, you know, which ones I want to share, whatever. So I've been going over those and that's been a delight. But my iMac does not have a DVD player. So I had to order a DVD edition. You just plug it into the back of the computer. But still, that was something I needed to, you know, research and figure out what to do. Then I received an offer from a company uh, that, well, I'm gonna, I've made a dedicated video. Now, I don't really like, you know, I get a couple offers a week. Sometimes they kind of come in bunches. I don't take offers very often, but sometimes I do, as you guys know. If it's a product that I like, and I think, ooh, I would like that, and if the, the um, you know, the offer is good, then I'm gonna go for it, especially, well, especially I have to like the product. So anyway, they sent me this product. It's a, their shoes. And there's something else too that I'm not gonna share. You have to watch the video. And anyway, when I received them, they blew me away at how beautiful they were. So anyway, I've been working on that video tonight. It has taken me forever. It's a good thing it's, it's gonna be worth it. 
but you should see my house. It is a disaster. And I'm, I'm going to show you my house. I mean, it, it is a disaster. Plus, um, um, my new, my dog, her new name is Poppy. Nobody liked um, uh, the, her other name. I had, uh, <laughs> I can't remember what, what her name was. Anyway, my family was like, no, 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 that's not a good name. So anyway, I renamed her Poppy. And I, I have to stick to that because she has got to have a name. It's craziness. And so she, she's over there on the couch. That's why I'm looking at her sound asleep, as she should be. She, she does not nap. She sleeps late in the morning with me, like between 8 or 9. She sleeps all night. I get her up and take her outside to go, to go to the bathroom. Big deal. She, you know, we're still working on that. But I have to be much more consistent. I've been in and out of town too much and all that. Plus, it's over 100 degrees outside. I can't... She, she burns her little feet out there. So anyway, that's part of the problem. So I am, I'm going to show you this, the mess I'm sitting here in. <laughs> it's so late right now. It's almost 2.30 in the morning. But I thought, you know, I want, since I w had my makeup on and everything from the uh, video that I, sh that I, uh, the review that I just did, I thought I've got to uh, put a video up for you guys because I miss you so much. But, okay, let me see what else can I tell you. Um... I uh, <laughs> I haven't been doing anything because when I'm when I'm out at my mom's, like we we meet we meet on a Tuesday, be there by Tuesday ten o'clock in the morning. We work all day, go to a late lunch, come back. Then um, and then I spend the night, and then I I sleep in, and gather my stuff together, come home. I don't get home until kind of late in the afternoon, like two-ish, three-ish, and then I, uh, you know, if I, I pack, unpack, uh, pack, unpack, I might as well be going to Europe for everything that I pack because there's nothing at my mother's house. There's not a brush, a uh, hot iron, nothing. So I have to haul all my stuff. And so by the time I come home and then I bring stuff from her house, you know, she had all this toilet paper from Costco and paper towels, Kleenexes and dishwasher soap and laundry detergent, you know, tons of it. So we kind of divvy, you know, take some of this stuff. So by the time I empty my car out and then get my luggage out of there, I'm pooped. Plus, like I said, it's over 100 degrees here. And not only am I tired on the outside, but I'm tired on the inside due to my, you know, it's like my, my um, anxiety and my feelings are just right on the surface. So it's, it's it's really tiring for me, and then I, I like come home and crash. I don't even clean up or put stuff away. I just get stuff out of my car, lug it, set it down, turn on the TV, or maybe take a bath or something. And um, it takes me a couple days. I've had to cancel events. I was supposed to host Canasta tonight. I just couldn't do it. I was too tired. My house was a mess. And then the other night, I was supposed to meet some gals for uh, our Wine Wednesday up at the clubhouse. They have live music. It's really nice. I couldn't do it. I, I, Fran called me and said, I'm sitting at the bar. Where are you? And I just said, I can't come. I'm so tired. And I, I kept thinking, I, I'll feel better. I'll, you know, Once I rest, I'll have a glass of water or something, take a Tylenol. I'll, I'll feel better. But I just, I never do. So anyway, um, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Um, ba, ba, ba. Okay, little Poppy is adorable. She's a good little dog. She is so affectionate. She's so loving, which of course I love. But she is, uh, <laughs> she well, she's just a hoot. And we have been going for walks at night. And the other night I took her around the block twice. She was still like totally high energy. I thought, well, once one time around the block, you're, you know, you're still raring to go. So we went another time. It's a short block. And um, anyway, she, yeah, she has more energy than I know to do it. But I try to make sure she, you know, gets gets that out in a positive way. And I would, uh, she goes back to the vet Tuesday for her last vaccine. And then I can take her to the, um, to the dog barber, <laughs> to the groomer and get her hair cut. Thank goodness, she's just a little shagadoo. Um, I did, I've been studying up on, she's so Maltese. I know she's a multi-poo, but there's very little poodle in her. 
So I've been studying about Maltese and, and they recommend that you bathe them like almost once a week. I was shocked. So, um, I, you know, I am, I try to make sure she is clean and that, that and conditioned so her skin doesn't get dry. You know, I have to apologize. My content just is so sucky. But I, because I've been, because of the situation I'm in right now, I haven't really been, <laughs> haven't been out and about. And uh, I, I'm, I did get an email from some friends and said, you know, it might do you good to join us and, and you, know, make, uh, uh, you know, make a plan to do that, put that on your calendar. And so I think I really need to start doing that, especially since most of the hard work, well, not most of it, but for now, it's sort of at a standstill. And I need to um, pay attention to my own house. So at any rate, oh, you guys, I got my taxes back. You know, I had to file an extension. Oh, that's never going to happen again. But because of the situation, I was in and out of town. I put it aside. Anyway, last year I, had, I owed for over $4,000. And this year I owe $1,300 plus $400 to H&R Block. So it's a little bit better. But they talked to me once again, you know, she went over everything with me and I just don't know what to do. Bottom line, I've got to pay my taxes. And I've even made some adjustments like in my W-2 form to help me not have to pay so much, but evidently that's just the way it works. But it was better than last year, but I thought I'd get money back, but I, I don't know how this YouTube thing works. I have to study up on, on my, um, you know, I saved receipts and I, I wrote things down. I was very, very uh, aware of the my YouTube business now that I'm actually making some money. But so anyway, we'll see. And even the the H&R Block people said, you know what? This is such a nebulous area. Nobody really knows how to um, how to do the deductions fairly in this. So so at any rate, I'm going to research that on my own as well. And one of the gals um, at H&R Block was interested and she said i'm gonna i'm gonna research it too I'm, uh, this is interesting to her, to her plus something else that um that you guys might help me with you know before i started teaching i had lots of different jobs you know i worked in a houseware store i was a waitress i was a um cocktail waitress i was a i you know i did restaurant type work and I did it enough that every, I only have one quarter left and I can get social security because right now I get my state teacher retirement. But and the gal at the H&R Block mentioned that and I said, well, you know, I only need one more quarter. And so she said, well, um, you know, you have, you, your YouTube business doesn't count because it's, a, it's your own business. But, and, and, well, anyway. But, you know, if you got a job, whatever. And so I said, mm, you know, I tried that, didn't work out. She said, get a job here. And I said, what? And she said, get a job here. That's what other people do. They, you know, like we hire them, they work for a season. I think it's January to May or something, January, or April, whatever it is. She said, as a receptionist. And, you know, if you know how to use the computer. And I said, really? And she goes, yep. So she said, that would count and you could get social security. So I'm gonna to go to, I looked up social security. I tried to like research it. It was all online and I need to talk to a human being. Speaking of human beings, I am so disgusted. Listen to me rant like this, but it's happening more and more. You guys are gonna be disgusted too. When I get these spam phone calls that say, um, hello, is this Cindy? And I'm like, yeah, hello, yes. And they go, well, hold, Cindy, this is Dan calling from a, a calling from a, what, how do they say it, uh, a recorded line. Can you hear me okay? And I, and then, well, anyway, you know, it's a robot. But, you know, if the first few times it happens, I'm like, Dan, you know, who's Dan? You know, yeah, I can, I can hear you. Well, then, so I am so sick and tired of those phone calls. And there seem to be, I seem to get like three a day. It drives me crazy. Are you guys getting those type of calls? Because I can't be the only one. If I was elderly and out of my head, <laughs> more than I am now, <laughs> I would I would totally believe them. You know, I would 
I would be talking to them and all of that. I, I'm acting all big and bad when I'd be talking to a robot. I don't know. Go figure. So at any rate, all right, I'm going to show you my messy house. Do not judge me. It is 2.29 in the morning, and I ain't doing one thing to clean this up. I'll do it in the morning. Okay, hold on. <laughs> These are the boxes that the, the shoes that I got came in. So, you know, I took them out of the boxes. I'm laying, they just right there. Look at this mess. These are the, some of the shoes. There's my iPad and so on. Here's some snacks that I had earlier of a magazine I was sitting here reading. Look at this, Miss, P Miss um, Poppy. She shredded all kinds of paper. I have to keep this blanket on the couch. Hi, Poppy. Oh, I don't want to wake you up. Oh my goodness, 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 goodness. Look at that precious baby. Look at that precious baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness sakes. She just loves her mommy. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. And look at all this down here. More paper that she shredded. Shoes I kicked off. Her, her little harness and leash. Look at this mess. I had my hat on to go get my mail. Oh my goodness. So there you go. That's my messy house. That part looks okay. Okay, you guys. Um, that's it. That's all for me. And until our next conversation. <laughs> P.S. I love you. See you later.